All right, we're here for the next Utah Flag League video segment. We are at uh, the, sorry, we're at the district in South Jordan. There's the movie theaters. You come by the ice cream place. There's rumors, the restaurant. Straight ahead, here's where we're gonna be filming at Ryan's Diamonds, which is also next to Zoomies. Come right up here to the door. Here we go. Here we are on location at Ryan's Diamonds, once again at the district in South Jordan. I am here again with my PIC, Jeff from Snap Fitness, and we're also here with Ryan of Ryan's Diamonds, who plays in the football league when he can get away from his business. Uh, he's out terrorizing all the quarterbacks in the five on five league. Ryan, why don't you tell us a little bit about Ryan's Diamonds? Well, Ryan's Diamonds, we've been, uh, I've been in business for 13 years. That's, uh, it started out as a side business, got me through school up at the U, and uh, opened up about a month ago here in the district. Um, it's doing great, it's doing good. Um, we specialize in saving people a lot of money. I don't jack up the prices like most jewelry stores. You, you can probably know when you paid for your ring, a lot of money. You literally cut that almost in half is what I teach you the same stuff for. So. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Jeff saw that after the point, but yeah. <laughs> Um, I can save you guys a ton of money, sound like a salesman, but it's true. Well, Ryan, let's take a look inside your diamond store. Why don't you give us a quick tour before we get started? All right, we walk in and you know, you got all the pendants. Um, pendants are great for Christmas. Christmas is coming up, you guys, so your sweetheart, if, you, if she already has earrings, the next thing is a pendant. Um, okay. And that's, it's a great, great piece. Two, three hundred dollars, you get something really nice. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars. Um, some more pendants here. Um, then anniversary rings are popular. Um, they add them to the side of her, ring, ran, her, her engagement ring, just to the side of it, or put it on her right hand. Many okay. diamonds means many years of marriage. So, uh, Looks like I'm um, due to get one of those. Of course, some men's rings. You got some cool men's rings over here. You guys come out, pick out yourself a ring. It doesn't have to be your engagement ring if you want to put something nice on your right hand. Um, it looks cool. There's some cool rings in here. Tungsten, titanium, of course, white gold, yellow gold, diamonds, no diamonds, whatever you want. Um, am I being loud enough? Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then the engagements. I have a whole bunch of engagements. If you're not married yet and are about to get married, you've got to come see me. I can get anything you've seen out there, any diamonds, and I'll save you a ton of money. And if you kind of scan right here, kind of look, these are a few of my you know, designs. There's some beautiful ones here. Um, and these are just a few. I've got several cases of this stuff. And then this one right here, get a close up on this. We custom made this. We had a customer that wanted to custom design their ring, and this is hand done. It, it, it's a lot of work. You would spend four or five thousand dollars for this in the mall. No joke. We sell this thing right here, custom made, for fourteen fifty. Uh, but forty five hundred for a, a Takori style band is what this is. It's, it's a brand name. It's very nice. So I'm about half the price of what you would spend for the same thing in the stores. Beautiful. It's custom made. Um, it's one example. And then earrings and you know bracelets. Anything. Earrings, anything jewelry. Bracelets. Tons of jewelry, so make sure you come see Ryan here at Ryan's Diamonds. He does play in the league, so we should definitely come support all our people from the league, especially if they got the better prices out there. Um, now we're going to get on to stuff we normally do. Why don't you come over here, Ryan, Jeff? Uh, we had some close games last week. We're going to talk a little bit about some games. Jeff, uh, we had some great close games last week during the weeknights. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the games? All right. Look, he actually wrote it legible this time. <laughs> but can I read it is the question. All right, we had Kurtless, 28 versus second and none, 24. Close game there. Fourth and really long, 41. Albertsons, 33. Acor Concrete, 33. The other guys, 26. The air up there, 26. Wasn't that a movie? It was. <laughs> I wonder where they got it from. Versus Swagger at 20, another close game. All day, 25. Cougars, 20. It looks like close games up and down the court there. Uh, Gamecocks 14, stillathlete.com 13, Grudge 31, and Coed 4 and out 26. Close games, close games. Close, close games. games. Uh, we didn't have so many 5 on 5 close games last week, just a couple. Airfare beating Hitman 32 26, free agents and ballaholics in the C slash D division 35 34 for free agents. We did have a couple close 8 on 8 games 26 20 for Joe's Crab Shack over Satan's Temptation. JDJ3, C-Team beating Blackshirt 7-0. That wasn't a forfeit game, that's the actual score. 
Juice beats uh, Great White Buffalo, who was undefeated. It was 21-12. Juice says they're back, so how you see teams in the 8 on 8 division look out. Uh, Wolfpack beats Sharks, 15-14 in overtime. Skip that one, skip that one. Skip that one. <laughs> Is that you? Skip yeah. That one. <laughs> goats and Bad Knees, 19-14 for Goats, who are C, beating Bad Knees, who are B. Uh, just so you know, rankings on the message board, everybody chime in. The 8 on 8 C division, there's some teams starting their own kind of college style rankings. So uh, all 8 on 8 C teams, get in, get on that, and if you're in any other division, uh, why don't you put your two cents in and yours and get that going as well. Uh, Ryan, why don't you talk about a little uh, the 5 on 5 division. You're in the 5 on 5 A division. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the 5 on 5 A, our red zone's pretty good team. we are uh, got one loss uh, against the Panthers. They're going to be a tough team. They're always tough. Um, they usually are in the championship, so uh, we've seen them a couple times there and lost to them several right. times. <laughs> um, uh, then you got Balls Deep, good team, solid team. Uh, we beat them last week, or a week, two weeks ago, and it was a tough game. Close came down to the last three seconds of the game. It was a do or die situation. They, went for the two and they died. <laughs> yeah. They went for two instead of uh, going for one, and it was a good game. Um, uh, but you know, I've got uh, on my team, we have a stacked team. We've got uh, Sean, we've got uh, Sage, Cody, Casey as quarterback. You know, Cody Stoddard is always good on receiver. He's, I, I, I put my money on him for making the most yardage, like usual for most re reception and yardage. And Casey's got a great arm. Good accuracy, um, and he's hard to sack, believe it or not, for how big he is. Yeah. Um, and uh, we also got um, uh, Zach and Jeff. We just knew two, two additions. They, this is their first year playing. We put them on the A team, and they're doing pretty good. They're coming around. So uh, That's awesome. Red Zone yeah. is doing well. They've only lost one. So all you 5-on-5 five five A teams, especially the Punishers, <laughs> be on the lookout since we already lost to them by a lot. Maybe we'll get a, get a little revenge coming yeah, up. Playoffs. <laughs> All right, well, we have a tournament we've been talking about. Jeff, why don't you give us a little update about that tournament coming up? All right, the tournament is looking like it would be December 2nd due to the fact that BYU plays Utah. Nice. So just um, so we can get the tournament and get tons of teams on, we don't have any conflicts since uh, BYU and Utah uh, intramural. intramural teams are going to be showing up at that tournament. So there's going to be some teams that we haven't played before in the league. So Tons of teams. So even if you're in the league and you're afraid, all you're going to see is teams from the league. Uh, the guys running the tournament, Impact Sports, Steve Beckstead, they are hoping to get about 125 teams this 5 5 tournament. So cool. Teams get in, red zone, red zone's going to be there, <laughs> sure. We'll put something in. <laughs> um, another thing, there's a tournament coming up in Las Vegas. Uh, it's about the third week of January. We're going to try to put a couple all star Utah teams together. If you want to bring your own 8 on 8 team down or 5 on 5, that's great. But if, like most teams, you don't have enough guys that want to go for a whole team, jump on with our squads. We're going to start talking to everybody we can, putting this together and making teams. The cost is going to be, you know, about 40 bucks a person for the tournament and then your normal travel cost for Las Vegas. Normally there's a group discount on hotels. So look for me. More information will be coming on that soon. Uh, Jeff, co-ed division has been going pretty good. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the co-ed division? All right, co-ed registration has closed for the season. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's been a lot of comments for the teams. Uh, how many teams do you say are going to be out next year? Well, we got four now. Uh, next year, there's going to be at least ten. Uh, I've, you know, the same four plus uh, there's dealer mark, I believe. That's where a lot of teams come from this season. They're going to put out a lot more. We've got a lot of interest coming from just people seeing it happen. Maybe people didn't sign up before because they didn't know what happened. I didn't know what happened, so yeah, I just found out today. I'm like, that's cool. Exactly. So you know, more teams are going to be out. The co-ed division is really fun. It's really laid back. Uh, a lot of the ladies are out there having a good time too, which is great. You said there's a discount for signing up? Yes, yeah, so if you're already on, on a team in the league and you sign up a co-ed team, we're going to be giving a discount for signing up. And it's usually weeknight games, but we can accommodate just like we do with everything else as far as scheduling goes. Look at that, save that money. A <laughs> uh, couple last things before we wrap up. I know there's been a lot of construction, so we'll use some alternate routes. I would suggest coming from the south. Uh, to the fields from 90th south on 3200 west, but if you're coming from the north, either go to 27th west or Old Bangor Highway and you turn on the road which is 86 south from Old Bangor Highway and it's about 8600 south as well, it's an intersection on 2700 west and then just drive up to 32 and come down because it's very difficult to come from the north from 78th on 32. Uh, Jeff, why don't you give us a, a quick weather report for the upcoming week? All right, the weather, week next should be mostly clear in the high mids of the 60s. 
Uh, Saturday will be cooler, about 56 and 30% chance of rain, and I'll demonstrate this next time for Ariel. <laughs> I'll get a little board out there for you so I can show it off, you know. Jeff, how about you go get a product that you're going to talk about? And Ryan, you're one of the better pass rushers, I believe, in the entire league, especially for 505. Why don't you give us a, a tip for all the aspiring pass rushers? So, for, for your rushers out there, uh, I'll give you my number two. I'm not going to give you my best, my best, but uh, in case you've been working on my, my stuff. Take notes. But, no, no. <laughs> so, I'd say sometimes I see rushers go in and jump. They leave their feet, and when the, the quarterback's kind of about to throw them, they jump up. The quarterback holds on to it and fakes them, and they're up in the air and running by them. Don't ever jump. Rushers, you don't jump up and try to block the ball. Just go straight for the flags. I think it's, I think it's well, the worst thing you can do is jump up, they run by it, and they got more time. More time means they're going to get a pass off, and there's going to be a catch, and you're screwed. So stop. You can put your hand up. You can put your hand up when you're going for the flag and try to block the ball, but don't jump up. I think it's the silliest thing I've ever seen a rusher do. Don't, that, that's one-on-one, rushing one-on-one. Don't do that. And that would be the information that Quinn gave me to jump. I didn't <laughs> don't listen, listen to him. him. <laughs> I didn't listen to him. But thanks, Quinn. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Can I get a special? If you yes, come into my store, absolutely. if you come to my store, we usually give a 10 or 15% off just about anything in the store. My, my workers are allowed to give 10 or 15% off things in the store. If you come into my store, you say, I'm from Dustin and Steve's league. If you say you're one of the football players on the field, I'll give you 20% off anything in the store, literally. Nice. I'll, I'll chop 20% right off the bat. Just say you're from the football league and I'll take care of you guys. So Already low prices and you're gonna get 20% right. it's a just double. being in the league. Yeah. So yeah. you need to come to Ryan's Diamonds at the district. Jeff, give us a... All right, what well, we got this week is we've gone over the adrenaline bulk. This is the adrenaline cut. So this is usually what I take before I play football and, and work out. Basically, it's going to give you the energy to, to push and play those multiple games that we play back to back to back to back to back to back all day long. You get tired and pass out on one break. But this keeps you going. It's going to pump you up. It has no creatine in there, but you got your thermogenics, you got your energy boosters, and you got your L-Argentine, which is going to pump you up and so you can be big like Dustin over here. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, he doesn't take it. That's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe I'll suck soon. All right, well, that's about it, man. Great, I want to thank Ryan again for letting us film at Ryan's Diamonds this week. Come Make on. Make sure you come in. Come Such a district, out. great place. Go watch a movie. Come buy a ring or a bracelet. Holidays are coming up, like Ryan said. Anniversaries are happening all year round. We'll talk about the ring cleaning. Actually. Oh, I do a free ring clean. You bring your jewelry in, we clean for free. We'll sparkle it up, make it look like the day she got it, and it looks always looks better. It surprises people. They're like, "Wow, I didn't know it was that dirty." So bring it in. We do a free ring cleaning here, anyways, for anyone. Yeah, my my wife and I went to a movie here. Oh, it was a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, about a month ago, and we dropped it off, and. Uh, Ryan cleaned it and you did some other stuff to it. I wrote and played it. Yeah. yeah. It actually shined better than the first time when we bought it. So yes. it was pretty nice. I'll make a little My wife still talks about it. Good. Still talks about it. <laughs> Come in and get your current jewelry clean while you shop for some new jewelry. There we go. All right, see you next time. Boom.